Forewarning, mother truckers, when you get put out of service, now they're not going off of the 2023 out of service criteria. They're actually going to go off of the 2024, which was just put in effect today, April 1st. Now, a lot of it is language change. I'm going to try and get someone from the CVSA on the show to really deep dive the explanation because when I read through these changes, a lot of it just sounds like language and a little bit added here and there. So we just want to give you the correct information. So Mud Truckers, let's get into today's video. What's going on, Mother Truckers? I just want to give you guys updates when there are some. Now, the CVSA just updated their out-of-service criteria, and it will be in effect today if you're watching this video, which is April 1st. So if you're getting put out of service, uh, they have basically new language and updated information. And so it doesn't change a lot of things. But it's good that you know that you need to look at the new 2024, right, criteria for out of service. Now, of course, the Commercial Vehicle Safety Alliance, the CVSA, uh, they have that 2024 North American Standard Out of Service Criteria Handbook out. But you got to pay for it if you want to look at it. So, you know, each year they update this. And that update has happened today. Let's go through a little bit of this and so that you guys can see it. Number one, a note was added to part one, item three, commercial driver's license endorsements and restrictions provide clarity on the status of hazardous materials, HM endorsement when the driver's transportation security administration screening HM determination is expired and the driver requires the HM endorsement. Number two, change. Ontario Class D license was removed from the note in Part 1. Item 4, driver medical physical requirements, B, medical certificate. Number 3, change. Uh, part 1, Item 7, drugs and the other substance, C, prohibited from performing safety-sensitive functions, was amended, add the new 392.15 violation code, and a note. Number 4, the... Applicability table for commercial learner's permit drivers was amended in Part 1. Item 7, drugs and other substances. C, prohibited from performing safety-sensitive functions. Number 5, change. Missing camshaft bushings was added to the 20% criterion to Part 2. Item 1, brake systems, a defective brakes. Uh, 5, drum cam dash type and wedge air brakes. A. Number 6, Watermarks were added to part two, item one, brake systems, a defective brakes, 20% criterion, and the end of 20% criterion to better identify the 20% put out of service criterion and the 20% criterion related to steering axle brakes. Uh, seven changed. They said the word shall was changed to may in part two, item one, brake systems. Q, performance-based brake test to allow for inspector discretion in reference to the requirements of retesting the vehicle. Number eight, part two, item three, coupling devices. C, uh, pintle hooks and G, hitch systems, excluding fifth wheels and pintle hooks. One was amended to add latches that are not in use and ball hitches that are mismatched with the receiver. Number nine, language was added to the title of part two, item nine, Lighting devices, headlamps, tail lamps, stop lamps, turn signals lamps, and flags on projecting loads. A, when lights are required to be on to clarify that lights not being turned on does not constitute an out-of-service condition. Number 10, a note was added to part 2, item 9, uh, lighting devices, headlamps, tail lamps, stop lamps, turn signals, and lamps, flags on projecting loads. Uh, number 11, by adding a new number 2 to part 2, item 12, tires B, uh, tires other than those found on the front steering axles, the rest of item 12B has been renumbered. All these changes have been incorporated into the North American Standard Inspection Program training materials along with updated inspection bulletins, inspection procedures, operational policies, and training videos, the agency states. Now, they actually go through all this in a video, but you have to be a member. Overall, Mother Truckers, uh, to me, it sounds like a lot of just language change. I want to get someone from the CVSA to jump on the channel to have a better ex explanation of the big changes that are happening because 
you know, a lot of this just sounds like lawyer talk, right? But just want to give you guys the information so that you have it. But yeah, they're going to be going off of this new uh, criterion for the out of service. And it just started today. 